everybody this is Denise with purplepaperparadise.com and today I'm here with another Sure Cuts a Lot 3 video um, today's video is going to focus on doing a print and cut in Sure Cuts a Lot 3 now if you follow my blog you know that about six months ago I came out with a video called print and cut hinge method for the e-craft and in that video I used make the cut and since that time, I've had a few people ask me how to do that in Shortcuts sure Lot. And I think I finally have it figured out. So I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. And hopefully some of you diehard scale users can test it out and make sure that it works as good for you as it has for me so far. So the first thing that we need to do, well, let me start off by saying that it is a little bit more complicated to do this in Shortcuts sure Lot as compared to Make the Cut. But don't let that discourage you. It really um, it just takes a couple of extra steps. So um, you can certainly do this in Shortcuts a lot. So if that is your preferred program, um, by all means, uh, use it. And uh, hopefully everything will work as well for you as it does for me. Um, the other thing, too, that I should mention is that in that video that I did, um, Print and Cut the Hinge Method for the E-Craft, we... Um, I did the whole step where I showed you at my eCraft machine how to set it up so that you could do this print and cut. I'm not going to re-demonstrate that here in this video. I'm just going to show you the computer part of it using sure cuts a lot as opposed to make the cut. So make sure you definitely go and watch that video so that you know exactly how you're supposed to set up your eCraft machine so that this will work for you. Um, Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first thing that we have to do is we have to go to our file menu and select place image. And I have here a graphic set from Lettering Delights called Alien Alarm. And I'm going to go ahead and select one of the aliens here and click open. Now, even though this is a PNG file, meaning that it has a transparent background, no matter what, when you place an image in scale, it places it inside of a box. So this makes it a little bit more difficult because we have to bring in our alien actually twice to get this to uh, print and also cut. This is our print alien. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to resize it down here a little bit so that we can work with him a little bit better. And now we have to bring in the alien that we will actually be cutting. So to do that we go up to file and trace image and we're going to go to our browse here and select the exact same alien and select open now you'll notice here that our we've got a preview window of our graphic here we've got our settings down here and we've got our output here uh, you want to make sure to hit the preview to see what you're getting for your outline and the most important thing here is to make sure that you're getting a, a good outline uh, trace here of your file, which we are here. We also have lots of interior pieces that are um, being picked up as well, and we're going to deal with those here in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and here is our alien. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide our print alien just so that we can see our uh, cut alien a little bit better we can work with him a little bit easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and select key proportions and scale him down. Now if you notice we've got our fill color set here and that is to this green. So what is happening here is there's lots of little shapes inside this alien and so we have to get a blackout of this alien. Now if I go over to my layers panel here you'll see that because there's a G in this folder that I know that the alien is in a group. And if we scroll down here you can see that there's lots of little shapes inside the alien. Okay, so what that means is that the first thing that we have to do is we have to go up to our object and we have to break apart. And when we break apart you'll see here that we now just have a folder it, it, there's no G in it and it says layer 27 and then when we scroll down here you can see that we've got all of our different um, individual pieces if sometimes SBG comes where they have more than one group 
you're going to need to make sure that everything is ungrouped inside that graphic so that you can use it for a print and cut first. So you see that I have it, and if you look at this on the screen, you're going, well, that obviously isn't a blackout. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this, though, to make him a blackout. I'm going to go ahead and select my alien, go up to Path, and select Union. And this is a very important step because now we're taking all of those pieces and we're making them one piece. And if I did not do this, then what would happen when I select shadow or blackout is that each little individual piece would be blacked out, not necessarily the whole image. So we've got everything there. And I'm going to go ahead and select shadow blackout and I'm going to use rounded. And there we have a blackout of our alien. So now we need to work on lining these um, aliens up. So I'm going to go ahead and unhide my print alien. And I've got my cut alien selected. Again, I'm going to go ahead and size him down. This is something that I have found kind of works best if you just kind of manually fidget with it. And I know that's not something that we always like to do, but it seems to really work the best. And... Uh, it kind of depends on your graphic, is what I've kind of discovered. So there we go. I've got him pretty well lined up, actually. If you zoom in here, you can see that my cut is all the way around him. And if you want a little bit more of a border, like let's say, for example, I don't want these cutouts here in the middle of the eyes. What you can do is you can go over and let's select our cut layer again here and you've got the shadow size here since we've already shadowed him all we need to do is then just kind of increase that number so that we can make a more solid clean um, outline to cut and so then from this step what you would do is you would first hide your cut layer print out your alien and then keep your cut layer unhidden and hide your print layer and then you would proceed to cut your hinge just like I demonstrated in uh, my other video so I hope that explains it well enough for all of you on how to do a print and cut using um, Surecuts Lot 3 in the eCraft machine feel free to leave me any comments on my YouTube channel or on my blog and I'll be sure to address them have a great day everybody and I look forward to hearing from you thanks